What's up guys, birds are chirping. Uh, we're trying to get the Camaro ready for cruising week next month. Uh, it's actually in three weeks. So uh, there's a couple things I wanted to do to the car that I haven't done in past year because I just haven't had any time. Uh, one of those things is I tried a different approach on sealing the rocker stud, um, the rocker bolts in the cylinder heads. These are ported heads. They have a, a port hole that actually goes inside the intake runner on the cylinder head. Um, and it's sucking up some oil so I'm gonna take those all back apart and I'm gonna reseal them I've used RTV in the past and that worked out great this past time I tried using PTFE paste and that seems to be giving me some trouble so I may try using a thread tape or I may try going back to the RTV but I'll uh, I'll see what it looks like when I get it apart so uh, stay tuned <laughs> Kind of see the PTFE paste on the rocker bolts right there. There's some junk in there, so I'm gonna try to vacuum that out to a glob of it. But it all hardened up, and uh, I think that's what's causing my oil consumption issue. So I don't know if I would recommend using this PTFE paste. It's very brittle. As you can see, I'm trying to pick it up, but it's just shattering into little pieces. I don't want that junk in my engine, so I'm going to try using something else this time. So we'll vacuum this stuff out and try using RTV, I guess. Let's see that junk. Definitely hardened up. Definitely you better clean it up. As you can see with these rocker studs, the PTFE paste is just too hard. It, it literally cracks off. Now with the harmonics in these rocker arms, I'm assuming it's just cracking up as soon as the, the stuff sets and then allowing oil to actually be sucked in through the intake runner. So exhaust is nice and clean. You can actually see the difference if you look down in the holes and you can see the PTFE paste has just hardened and cracked and flaked up inside there. So we'll try something a little bit more permanent. So she's uh, all back together, so we're going to let that RTV set up and then we can uh, take it for a test drive. I'll probably change the oil in it and then uh, top off the oil and I'll keep monitoring it to see if the oil level changes. But um, we should be good to go. I'll look at the exhaust. Every time you uh, start it, sometimes it would shoot a puff of smoke out. So um, I believe that's what it was coming from. You know, you could actually, when we put the vacuum on the threads, the oil was being sucked up through the threads. The threads were actually wet. So I'm pretty confident we just solved the issue with this. So we will see, time will tell. Um, if you guys liked this video, if it was helpful for you guys, definitely leave a like. Um, and if you've tried any other type of sealants, you know, leave a comment down below and let me know what you used. 
And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and uh, we will do some more. So hopefully soon we will be back out with this Camaro. We'll take it out to cruising weekend in Ocean City, Maryland. So if you see me on the streets, you know, give me a shout. And uh, we will be at the LS1 Tech Meet on the Saturday. Uh, I believe it's going to be at Roses. That's where it was last year. Um, but it's pretty much to be determined. So when I find out, I'll let you guys know. And I'll give you another update. So I appreciate you guys watching. And I will see you on the next one.